At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. Pahrump Nugget, Progressive Cash Drawings, Mystery Point Multipliers, Mystery Gift Days, Extra Cash for Four of a Kind, Bingo Bowling Football and Food Specials. Looking for constant action? Look no further. Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. News 46 is brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. And welcome back to News 46. Here's your news across Nevada with Deanna O'Donnell. The Reno Air Racing Association has cleared a major hurdle in its bid to continue holding national championship air races this fall. The future of the 48-year-old competition has been in question since a plane crashed at the event in September, killing 11 people and injuring more than 70. Some insurance questions remain, but the Reno Tahoe Airport Authority Board of Trustees voted today to renew the necessary permit for at least another year as long as organizers follow all federal safety rules. The Reno Air Races features planes flying wingtip to wingtip around an aerial track, sometimes just 50 feet off the ground, at speeds above 500 miles per hour. The number of children ants accidentally dying has dropped 30% during the last decade, but the number of young people dying from prescription drug overdose has spiked. A government report from the Centers for Disease Control shows that fewer kids and teens died in car accidents between 2000 and 2009. Expert credit better car seats and new rules that limit how much teens drive, but death rates for teenager drug overdose is on the rise, and so is the death rate for infant suffocation. Panelists at a major casino gambling conference in Atlantic City say the U.S. Congress is too badly divided to act on Internet gambling, so individual states will start approving it on their own within the next two years. New Jersey hopes to become the Silicon Valley of Internet gambling, and its legislator is working on a bill to legalize it. The chairman of the U.S. Digital Gaming said 40 million people visited Las Vegas last year, but 40 million people visit Facebook every five days. He says that shows the potential market for computer gambling. Nevada's reclaiming its title as a foreclosure capital of the U.S. after a one-month stint in the number two spot. Data released today by Reality Track shows Nevada's foreclosure rate edged out second place in California in April, even though foreclosure activity that month was down 67% year over year. Foreclosure activity inched up less than 1% from March. One in every 300 housing units in Nevada had a foreclosure filing in April. Foreclosures in Nevada have been declining since a state law took effect in October, requiring lenders to file more paperwork to foreclose. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada. And here's Ginger Tyro with your first move fitness tip of the week. What is a calorie? A calorie is a unit of energy supplied to your body by the food that you eat. There are four calories in every gram of carbohydrate, four calories in every gram of protein, but there are nine calories in every gram of fat. When you eat carbohydrates, your digestive system goes to work breaking them down into glucose, which your body and brain use for energy. If you do not have enough sufficient amount of glucose supplied by carbohydrates, your mind becomes unable to concentrate and you become irritable. Protein is the basic building material of your body, your blood, skin, hair, nails, internal organs, and all of your muscles. They're comprised of protein. Protein also helps your body to produce the hormones that control your metabolism. Healthy fats play a huge role in helping you manage your mood, stay on top of your mental game, fight fatigue, even control your weight. Good fats, such as omega-3 fats, are absolutely essential, not only to your physical health, but to your emotional well-being. For more information, come see me at First Move Fitness. I'm Ginger, and remember, the first move is yours. 
Motorists who refuse to wear their seatbelts, beware. The 2012 National Click It or Ticket Seatbelt Enforcement Mobilization kicks off May 21st to help save lives by cracking down on those who don't buckle up. Statistics show that in 2010 alone, seatbelts saved an estimated 12,546 lives nationwide. In 2010, 22,187 passenger vehicle occupants were killed in motor vehicle crashes. 51% of them were not wearing seatbelts at the time of their fatal crashes. Data shows that among teen and young adult passenger vehicle occupants in 2010, ages 18 to 34 who were killed in motor vehicle traffic crashes, 62% of them were not buckled up at the time of the crash, the highest percentage of any age group. The Calvada Eye is the new home of the annual Acoustic Grass and Music Festival. We spoke to Dan Schinhofen about this year's event. Calvada Eye, I think we're going to be here from now on. It's great trees, shade. Uh, it's been a nice weekend. Uh, the weather's been good. Uh, God smiled on me this year. He's hated me the last four, and it's always made a rain or snow. But no rain or snow this year, so we're doing well. So uh, uh, we want to thank everybody who's helped out, uh, you know, especially the VFW. This is an event that we put on for them. And all our sponsors, Solar Reserve, Wolfie's Best Western, Dollar Loan Center, Super Pond, Red Apple, Sugars, uh, and I'm sure I forgot somebody, but thank everybody who helped out. We had a wide array of bands all weekend long. Yeah, we did. We had uh, Stuck in Reverse, Aspen Ridge, Stillhouse Road, a bunch of local guys. Pat Hogan played my kiki. Derek Jordan and I played a set. We also had Jack Loman up there. Yeah, UConn Jack Loman, he's our MC. Started this five years ago with us. And uh, on the stage coming up now is going to be Out of the Desert. And uh, they're from Vegas. A real good band. In the middle of that, we're going to do the raffle. Uh, you've if you're watching this and you didn't come, you didn't win. So you can be here to win. Be here to and win. that is the raffle for the wheelbarrow full of beer. We got a wheelbarrow full of beer. We got Frontside gave us a certificate for training. Uh, Spring Mountain Raceway gave us 10 laps in a Corvette. Uh, Big O Tires gave us stuff, v VEA. Um, just a lot of great stuff to hand out. And my sister made it this year. Came in Thursday. Uh, she had a good time. Uh, her husband got up and played with us too and uh, so she had to leave and uh, but she was here after five years we we got her up here Thanks. so Thanks my mother my mother just left too she was here for the weekend went to see my sister in las vegas so, there you go. so mother's day turned out to be a great event here and uh, all the moms got to sit on the grass and watch uh, the bands too as well yeah and a good son would have brought a blanket or chair for him or maybe bought him a beer but you know uh, it, was, it, it was just a great place to have an event. I believe the uh, county's looking to put a stage out here so we can do evening uh, concerts and a lot of stuff we can do here. It's a real nice place to have an event. Looked like they had a really good time out there. Well, here's Eileen at West Star Ranch with this week's Save a Pet segment. Save a Pet is generously brought to you by Auto World at 727-8000 and Greenspan Brokerage at 751-6200. Put the green team to work for you. Hi, I'm Eileen. I'm here at West Star Ranch Animal Rescue. And with me today, I've got Bonnie. Bonnie's a lab, as you can see. She's about four or five years old. Very friendly. Great to have around. Come and adopt her, please. Come over to 780 East Mance or call us at 727-9273. If you would like to sponsor Save a Pet, give us a call at 727-9400. To adopt, donate, or contact West Star Ranch, call 727-9273. And we'll have more with your weather after this break. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. And welcome back. Today we had sunny skies and a much nicer high than what we've had in the last week even. Our high was 86 degrees and our winds were coming out of the northwest at 11 and our winds were gusting at 25. So we did have some powerful winds out there. I don't know if any of you guys heard last night, but winds were extremely powerful, hence that warning we got from the National Weather Service. Our pressure was at 29.81 and our UV at 10, very high. Humidity at 12%, still very low. And our sunrise was at 5.35 a.m. 
Record for today was 104 degrees back in 2008. Big difference today. <laughs> tonight, we're going to have clear skies, looks like. 60 degrees, there we are in tonight, and our wind's coming out of the north at 3 miles per hour. Our gusts at 9 and humidity at 17%. Sunset looking to be at 7.47 p.m. And our record for today, 45 degrees back in 1977. Taking a look now at tomorrow, we're going to have sunny skies once again. And our high is going to go up just a little bit there, 91 degrees. Not too bad for those walking in the Relay for Life. And our low, 63 degrees. Winds coming out of the southwest at 4 and our gusts at 7. So those winds aren't going to be there Saturday to start off our weekend. So that's pretty nice for those of you who don't like the wind. Our UV index is still going to be at 10 very high. So if you are out there walking in the Relay for Life or anything else for that matter, remember to wear your sunscreen, drink plenty of water, even wear like a hat or something, big floppy hat or something like that to protect yourself from the sun. Our sunrise from 535 a.m. and our humidity at 11%. Now taking a look at our seven-day. We're Sunday, temperature is going to go up to 95, so that high is going up quite a bit there. Monday, we're going to go into 99, close to those triple digits. And Tuesday, it looks like that temperature is going to decrease back to 95, even a little bit of clouds there. And then they're going to slowly kind of go down gradually from Wednesday all the way down to Friday. So we might even see the 80s again as the week progresses. But temperatures aren't too bad. We're not in those triple digits just as of yet. Our lowest low looks like it's going to be 62 all the way to next Friday. And now what you're seeing there is a picture of an annular eclipse, which is actually going to take place tomorrow. It's going to start at 523. That's a partial eclipse. And what the eclipse is, what you're seeing there is when the moon and the sun go in line in the Earth's orbit. And that moon covers the sun almost completely, except we're going to see like a ring of fire which is actually the sun being covered by the moon. So it's really neat. That's going to start, the partial eclipse is going to start at 523, and that maximum will be at 635. So that's when you're going to see the ring of fire. It's going to end at around 739 p.m. So coverage is going to be 92%, which means that the moon will be covering the sun, 92% of the sun. But you might want to look out for it, but you can't really look at it because you have to have special glasses, special filters, something like that. So try not to look at it because it will damage your eyes just as if you look at the sun any other time. Is your high school senior graduating this year? You can pre-order your professional graduation DVDs now for just $25. Just call us here at KPVM at 727-9400, extension 209. And before we go today, I just want to tell you, because Monique asked me about this, even if you have sunglasses, that still does not count as professional protection <laughs> from that solar eclipse. So she says she can look at the sun with her sunglasses, so <laughs> nothing's happening to her. I don't recommend it because it's you're still looking at the sun. So, yeah. But it's definitely something you want to keep a lookout for. It starts at 523, and the full thing is at 635, uh, and then it ends at 739. So it'll be really interesting for everybody. Maybe to... I'll just snap a picture Maybe. while I'm not looking. It might damage your phone, too. I don't recommend any of it, so... <laughs> It doesn't come back on me. But anyways, that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. We'll see you here again tomorrow for the Week in Review with Deanna O'Donnell and Jason Koblenz. But for right now, I'm Zach Fuentes. And I'm Monique Murphy. Have a wonderful weekend and a safe evening. Good night.